Welcome back, Spirit Family. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. Today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Pisces for July 2019. Now when I say general reading, guys, it's going to cover your love, your career, your soul story. Just kind of get a feel on what's going on for July. If you guys would go ahead and if you would like to subscribe and ring that notification bell, I do a lot of live streams. Um, every once in a while I'll host uh, free readings, but it is first come first serve, so ring that notification bell, okay guys? Now I am out here in nature, I am on a mountaintop. I am off grid, no electricity, no running water, no cell phone service. It's just me and mother nature in a cabin in the woods and I love it. Currently I have my shoes off, I'm grounding. You can hear the birds in the background, the mountain breeze, it's just beautiful. So please take that time to get out this summer, whether it's just, you know, spending a day at the beach or the lake, a stream, whatever it is, guys, get out there, okay? All right, for July, we do have a lot that's going on regarding, you know, the sun, the moon, and planets, okay? We have two eclipses. On July 2nd, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer. On July 16th, we have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Now, the solar eclipse in Cancer, that's going to focus more on your family, okay? Aspects regarding your family life, family life whether it's your immediate family maybe rekindling with some old cousins, some friends, you know, kind of getting out there. For some of us within the States, 4th of July is right around the corner, so maybe get yourself out to the barbecues. You know, I know it's easier said than done picking yourself, bringing yourself out to a family reunion, but you're going to enjoy the end of it. Maybe some networking, you know, like I said, rekindling will come out of it. Okay, now the lunar eclipse in Capricorn, which that happens, like I said, July 16th, the lunar side, that's your inner beliefs, which you think were well, your feelings on the inside. With it happening in Capricorn, a lot of you guys are going to reevaluate your responsibilities, your priorities in life. You're going to weigh the pros and cons and kind of leave things behind you that no longer serves you. And I know a lot of us could actually do that at this point of the year. Okay? There is a retrograde, July 7th, Mercury turns retrograde in Leo, okay, so that's before the lunar eclipse. The retrograde only lasts until July 31st where it turns direct, and there's also a new moon in Leo the same day, and guys, that's not even all of it, but I'm going to dive more into the, the card readings. If I see a spirit animal or something makes its presence known in these videos, I love these off-grid. I had um, a mouse, woodpecker, crows, all kinds of animals make their presence, snails, butterflies. So if I see something, I'll point it out. Maybe you guys will see something yourself or hear something yourself, okay? All right, so let's get started. I'm going to read from the Rider Waite deck here. I also wanted to mention that I did have an opportunity for, I'm giving, having a giveaway for a healer's box. I'll mention that before I read from the fairies, but it has a salt lamp, your own tarot deck, tapestry, incense, sage, all that good stuff. All you have to do is subscribe, share, you know, hit the notification bell, comment that you've done below. And on July 31st, I'm having a raffle, 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be picking a winner. And if you don't win the box... On July 31st, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be doing free readings up until I pull the name. Okay, guys? It'll be a lot of fun. We're celebrating the one-year birthday here at Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I love the giveaways. It gets me in contact with you guys. It's just a lot of fun. This channel's international. Hearing where you guys are from is amazing. All right? But unfortunately, the healer's box does only go to people within the States. It is very heavy. It has a lot of things in it, guys, so I won't be able to ship that overseas. Okay. Shout out to my people in California. I know I have a lot of subscribers there. How's the weather? All right. So, Pisces. We're kind of dealing with some, with some stuff this summer. I feel a lot of you guys might be moving on from old relationships into, you know, you're kind of becoming yourself again. Um, really working on things around the home, your career, your job, things like that. You're starting off with the four of pentacles. So I'm seeing you guys kind of worry a little bit more about materialistic items, whether it's like fixing up the home or just things you have around the house, maybe worrying a little bit too much about clothes and things like that. You know, you have to focus more on the simple things this summer, okay? 
my Pisces, the Three of Wands, which is telling me that the visit to the water, whether it's the stream, river, lake, ocean, whatever it might be, is going to be very healing for you. You're going to be able to dive back into your deep unconscious thoughts, meditate by the sea, whatever it is, because when, when you get there, you're going to be able to judge your goals a little bit better. It's going to be a little bit more clear for you. Now, I want you to seriously go there, you know, hear some running water, make sure everything's peaceful around you. You don't have your cell phone on you, you know, going off or anything like that and just meditate. Meditate on what it is. The answers will come, Pisces. This is what I'm seeing. In the three of wands here, that is what I'm seeing. You're going to go by the water and you're going to find your answers, okay? You're going to weigh your pros and cons and you're going to come out from it with a new mindset, okay? All right. So we have the four of swords, which is telling me that maybe some of you guys are, you know, having some health issues, Maybe some of you guys have just got out of a really bad relationship and you're thankful for being on the other side. Career-wise, you know, maybe some of you guys are thinking about or already did get yourself out of a dead-end career that left you feeling unworthy at the end of the day. Okay, so now we're taking pride in things. We're relaxing. It's very important that you take the time to be thankful for what you have Pisces I'm I'm really getting that with the four of Pentacles okay the three of wands and the four of swords their vibration together is you know things might not be completely perfect in the way that you want them right now Pisces but be appreciative of what you do have okay you know things might not be exactly how you want it regarding your health or your residence or your relationship, your marriage, your children. But you know, when you take a step back of it, you do have a good life. You have to bring those positive vibes back into your life by doing so, by being appreciative. I feel like the Four of Swords is telling you to don't take things for granted, okay? Do not take things for granted, okay? All right. For some of you guys, things might be a lot of triggering. There might be a lot of PTSD, you know, going on in your life. Some past trauma that you just can't escape. Feeling unworthy from past relationships and not being sure which direction to move forward. It's a lot. It's a lot on your hands. But when you really look up back on it, and you look at yourself now and where you are, you need to be thankful, okay? Like I said, it's not perfect. But bringing those positive vibes in will help you manifest what it is that you truly desire, okay? One step at a time. Sometimes we need to see the darkness in, li in life to really appreciate the light, okay? To the dark times or experiences, you know? A lot of things will mold us and make us a different person. And it's really just paving the way for a brighter future. It might be, you know, a dim presence. It could have been a very dark past but the future my pisces future is bright okay all right so i'm going to do one from the fairies for you guys i did want to talk a little bit more about the healers box like i said i only have like 10 15 people on the list guys it's a very short list you have a good chance of winning it has a salt lamp tarot cards incense sage gemstones tapestry a whole bunch of other things guys and all you have to do is subscribe share ring that notification bell and comment below that you have you know what if you don't want to use that name you know put whatever name that you want for me to put in the hat july 31st 9 p.m eastern time i will be pulling a name and i'll be doing free readings up until then so even if you don't win the box you get yourself a free reading if you're busy on july 1st not around like I said, ring that notification bell. I do a lot of live streams. I would love to see you and have you part of the family, okay? It's really fun. You know, shout out to my Pisces who are already a part of the family. You know, you guys know that the live streams are a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot more. I had to take a little bit of time. I take a little bit of time here and there to heal myself, guys. The healer needs to be healed. But I'm back doing live streams a lot. Obviously, when I'm not off grid. <laughs> So I'm doing my recording sessions now. There is no Wi-Fi. There is no cell phone service, guys, out here. And last night there was a 400, 500 pound bear out here, like where my table is. So I love it. I love it. One in nature, guys. All right. 
Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Oh my goodness, I swear. I have been pulling the fairies card for... Um, this is a very lovely deck. You can see the box over there. I've been pulling from the fairies because I'm on a mountain. It's very earthy. Fairies resemble earth, okay? I do have the angels deck there, but I just haven't been feeling them, so I've been sticking with the fairies the whole time. Every time I pull from the fairies deck, I love the way tarot works. It's always even shocking to me sometimes. It's just kind of, you know, putting in different words with the Rider Waite says what I've been saying. Everything is okay, Pisces. It might not be the way that you want it, okay? So don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. It's life's plan, Pisces, okay? So just roll with it, my friend. The bird concurs. All right, guys. I hope to see you for a live stream. I hope to see you for the healer's box. There will be a picture after the video of what it's like. Like I said, it's a lot of stuff couldn't bring it outdoors so I'll have a picture of that so you guys can see a little bit more and I just hope to have you guys part of the family and comment below if you would like to find out your moon sign comment your full birthday below I would love to find it out for you all right guys all right so thanks for tuning in this is spiritual findings with the gypsy soul I am your gypsy Vera Lynn you guys have a beautiful July